Yes, son. I'm very proud of you. You have come home. You've seen what it is at home. Take this fire home. You are already breaking ground in America. Break more ground internationally. Please, with a Jesus hand, let's receive the senior pastor of Beth Covenant Assemblies of God from San Antonio, Texas, United States of America. Pastor John and Emeke, go ahead, celebrate him. Every one of you wave your hands. Just wave your hands to Jesus. Wave your hands to Jesus. Wave your hands to Jesus. Shout hallelujah. Come on, let us give God a big covenant hallelujah in the heart. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. First, I give honor and glory to God for the privilege to be alive and to be in his presence and to stand on this exalted altar. To God alone be the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to honor our father and our mother in the house. Can we celebrate Papa and Mama? Love you. God bless you. Come on. I know we can't do better than that. Hallelujah. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your love. Thank you for accepting me as one of your children. I am the least of them. And I'm very grateful for the privilege. I want to celebrate all the men of God, women of God in the house. Can we give them a big God bless you? The Bible says we should give honor to whom honor is due. I celebrate you and the grace of God that is upon your life. Also celebrate with me the Covenant Praise Choir. I tell you, if there is one department I can join in this ministry, I'm going right to Covenant Praise Choir. Come on, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, everybody. Shout to the Lord with a voice of triumph. For the Lord is good. If you believe that today is your day, let me hear your amen like fire. Help me look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it 
Look for another person that is full of the Holy Ghost. Tell them today is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Now wherever you are, lift your voice and make a joyful noise unto the Lord. The shout of the king is among them. Somebody wave your hand and give God a shout of prayer. Hallelujah. Are you ready for God's word today? We have a very short time. I thank God for God's servants that has blessed us already. I only have a few minutes just to say a little something. The Father has blessed. I'm just here to encourage and to let you that what God has said to us today and what God has given to us in this convention in the name of Jesus it shall be permanent upon our lives. If your amen is louder than your neighbor you will shine brighter than your neighbor. Turn with me your Bibles Zechariah chapter 4 and verse number 6 Zechariah chapter number 4 and verse 6 one verse if you don't mind let us read the scriptures together there is power when we declare the word of God the Bible says let's read together then he answered and spake unto me saying this is the word of the Lord. Put your name there. Unto who? Stand if you don't mind, please. If you don't mind, stand. Instead of Zerubbabel, I want you to put your name. Because you are next in line for God to declare and display his glory all over the world. Somebody shout a big amen. Let's read one, two, go. Then he answered and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto John, saying, Not by mind, nor by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. Lift your right hand up. Father, bless your word let every man every woman every boy every girl under the sound of my voice be quickened by the power of your word do only what the holy ghost can do let every voice of man be silenced let the glorious voice of jehovah be heard and let only God be glorified. Let miracles, signs and wonders, deliverance, healing take place in this atmosphere. And take the glory in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. If you shout the loudest amen, you will shine brighter and brighter. Come on, look for five people. Tell them it is my year of brighter and brighter. It is my season of brighter and brighter. It is my time of brighter and brighter. I can hear you shouting loud. It is my time of brighter. It is my season of brighter. If you believe it, let me hear the loudest amen in the building. Before you leave this ground, every problem that entered with you it is expired now every sickness that entered here with you is leaving your body now in the name of jesus the scripture says not by might not by power but by my spirit say it, the lord wherever they quench your light i command the power of god to ignite you again you are coming back on top you are coming back with your fire you are coming back with the anointed you are coming back with glory when you get home you will shine brighter 
Somebody shout brighter, brighter. Wave your hand and shout hallelujah. Please sit down. I believe God that after today's service, this very last service in this convention, God will be shifting his people into new levels of glory. Now let me tell you, as the word of God is going to be declared, anything that looks like your own, collect it. Are you hearing me? As I declare the word of God, the power of God will be touching you wherever you are. I decree and I declare new levels of glory is coming to you. You are not going to go back the same way you entered here. The Bible says, arise and shine. Your light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. As darkness covered the earth and cross darkness covers the people, the Bible saw the Lord shines his glory upon you. You will no more be covered in shame. You will not end this year the way you started. You will end this year greater than you started. You will end this year mightier than you started. Glory will mean glory in your life. Power will mean power in your life. Grace will mean grace in your life. Favor will jump favor in your life. As you shout, Amen, shine brighter. I say shine brighter. I say shine brighter. If you believe it, shout a big amen all over this house. Brighter and brighter by the Spirit of God. That is my topic. Brighter. Somebody shout brighter and brighter. I can't hear you. Shout it again. Brighter and brighter by the Spirit of God. Somebody shout a big amen. When God wants to do anything on earth, he mediates it by his spirit. The Bible says in the beginning, Genesis chapter 1, darkness was over the face of the deep. And the spirit of the Lord hovered above the waters. What the spirit did was what is what CT scan and MRI does right now. Scan over the earth. And the next thing you heard, and God said, let there be light. And there was light. The Holy Ghost is scanning all over this auditorium. Any area of your life where there is darkness, if you will jump on your feet and shout a big amen, the light of God will shine there. In your finances, the light of God will shine there. In your marriage, it will shine. In your business, it will shine. For your children, it will shine. For your destiny, it will shine. For your ministry, it will shine. Somebody shout brighter and brighter. Somebody shout brighter and brighter. Somebody shout brighter and brighter. If you believe it, shout a big amen. Yes. When God was cause our life to shine brighter and brighter, he releases his power by his spirit. He releases his presence onto our lives. It removes burdens. And that's what the anointing does. It removes burdens. Yesterday we were anointed with oil. The anointing is the power and the presence of God that removes burdens, that breaks yokes and enables a believer to fulfill his God-given mandate. Somebody from today, in the name that is above every other name, you will begin to fulfill the purpose of God upon your life. You will continue to achieve the purpose of God upon your life. You will end this year greater than you started. By the time you come to Babi 2024, you will not come like the way you came here today. Jacob said, when I crossed this Jabbok, I crossed as one man. But today, God has made me a company of people. I announce to you, you are coming here greater next year. Anybody sitting down, collect their blessing on top of your own. 
I say you are coming back here stronger than you entered here. You are coming back here better than you entered here. If you believe it, let me hear your amen like fire. Sit down. Sit down, please. When God releases his spirit, he sets our hearts on fire. First thing he does. Number two, there is divine impartation for transgenerational impact. Ladies and gentlemen, many people under the sound of my voice, we are God's global solution for this end time. Somebody say, I'm God's global solution. Say it loud. I am God's global solution for this end time. You are a solution carrier. You are not a problem carrier. You are not hearing me. You know everybody is carrying something. Some people carry solution. Some people carry problem. If you will announce to your neighbor, tell your neighbor, I am a solution carrier. I'm a sol One of the first few years when I came to the United States, I'd worked all types of crazy jobs. And one day in the middle of Dallas, Texas, I saw myself walking along the road, coming back from work. And you know, and I know many of you are well traveled. You know, there's a way you will walk around, they will begin to look at you as if uh, there's something wrong with you. In fact, there's something called jaywalking. If you know what I'm talking about, you walk to a certain level, you begin to walk around. You can't just walk in every neighborhood. When you walk out each one place, especially say you be black man, they go begin to say you be thief. So I saw myself walking along the road, coming back from work. I saw people passing, and they say, where they were looking at me. In the middle of the road, I lifted up my hand. I said, God, you didn't bring me to this country to be a beggar. Even the country where I came from, I was not a beggar. I said, let the anointing of God upon my life begin to manifest. I will not beg. I will lend to nations. I announce to you, from that minute, this started to work for me. Doors that were closed began to open for me. I don't know who you are. You are tired of being tired. You are tired of begging people. You are tired of going to ask people for help. God said I should tell you, today marks the beginning of a new day in your life. I don't like your amen. I said today marks the beginning of a new day in your life. If you shout a louder amen, more anointing will rest upon you. Look for three people, tell them today is the beginning of a new day. Come on, tell them today is the beginning of a new day in my life. As you shout amen, that shall be your portion. Listen, you don't want to say pastor like that is because by the spirit I got home that day the place I used to walk on Abram Street in Dallas Texas is any load you know the one we call any load when I know any load for here I, I was born in Benin I know they you they wake up you they go you don't know which walk you go walk now when you reach there they go collect you. The, the Lord told me, stop going there. Start going towards the direction of your destiny. When I'm not they hear me. Some of you, the reason why you are not shining is you are in the wrong location. Did you hear me? You are not in the area of your calling. Immediately you step into what God has called you to do. The light will shine over your head. Somebody as you come out of Penny, I said the light of God will shine over your head. Look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor, no more struggle, no more struggle. Hear this. I went, I told my aunt that had the car. I said, please begin to take me to clinics. Clinics, just take me to anyone. 
Anyone, since it's medical medicine that I read, I cannot be walking any load when a hospital, I suppose they walk. You know, not they understand what I'm saying. From today, whoever puts you in the wrong place, may the spirit lift you up and shoot you into the right place. Come on, come on. Come on, be this city. I know you can hear me. I say may the spirit of God lift you up and shoot you into your destiny. If you believe it, jump on your feet and shout amen like fire. Baba, they took me to one clinic. Never forget. As I got there, I introduced myself. I said I am a young student from the University of Ibadan. The lady in front said, oh, welcome, welcome. Let me take you to the doctor. She thought I said I am from University of Dallas. Would I not they hear me? Are you hearing what I'm saying? The spirit will change them to hear what they need to hear. Hey, 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 hey. Would I not they hear me? Somebody shout, yeah! The lady did not hear. She said, oh, come in. You and the doctor went to the same school. The Lord tell me, just shut up your mouth. Follow them, the waka. Una not they hear me. Doors will begin to open for you. I said doors will open for you. After this convention, you that have been looking for a visa, as you shout amen, receive that visa. Over there, over there, over there, over there, over there, over there, over there. I said, where are you? Receive it over there. Where they told you no, they will tell you yes. If you believe it, shout yes! The doctor was doing surgery. I showed up. On the radio, they were playing Shade Adu. You know Shade Adu? Now, you both man, officer, enter. He talks, eh? Do you know the lady that is singing? I said, now, I've been Nigerian. Now, no, hear me. Did you hear me? Let me repeat. Shade Adu is an international artist. As I entered, he started to play in his surgery room. And the music was sung by a Nigerian. Boundary lines have fallen for you in pleasant places. Yeah, you have a goodly... Okay, let me tell you what this means so that some of you may not understand. When I entered there, the Holy Ghost is who made the way. Are you hearing me? I entered there. Suddenly, they started to hear the sound of another Nigerian that he likes. Now, you both man know. As they hear the song, he said, I know this person where they sing. He said, now Nigerian. I said, now my sister. Of us will be brothers and sisters. I mean, we not be brothers and sisters. Help me look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, you are my brother, you are my sister. Come on, as you greeted that person, the favor of God upon their life will begin to work for you. Some of you are not talking. I said the favor will begin to work for you. How many of you know grace is contagious? More than COVID. As you jump on your village, shout amen, contact grace. Contact grace. Contact grace. If you believe me, shout yes! So, please sit down. The man said, oh, you are Nigerian. I said, yes. He said, come in, come in, come in, come in. Where did you go to school? I said, University of Ibada. He said, I thought you went to University of Dallas. I said, no. University of Ibada. He said, well, you're already here. Somebody, like mistake, like mistake, you go enter your answer to prayer. As you jump on your feet and shout, Amen, enter your miracle. Enter your miracle. Enter your breakthrough. Somebody jump and enter your healing. Enter favor. That billion dollar contract. Enter that position. That political office. 
As for your being a shout, amen. Enter by fire. Wave your hand and shout, yes. <laughs> the man said, you're already here. He said, what do you want? I said, I just need the help. He said, any help you want, I will give it to you. Baba, I like not as a servant of God. Time I had been fasting and praying, asking God, should I come back to Niger? You know, some of your brothers were dead then. Maybe when they pray for them more. Some of them, life no balance. So. When they hear me, yeah. I was almost contemplating coming back. But God, I asked God, can you speak to me? God used a white man. He heard my story. He said, son, don't go back. Whatever you did, I will help you. <sighs> One prayer just like that. That is how somebody you will testify just like that after Babic. The man told me, when you apply, go to San Antonio, word for word. He said, I will write a letter for you. Guess what was happening? I left the man's office. When it came to applying, I not tried to do another place. I applied San Antonio. The man's classmate was the admission officer. When they, they had not seen for over 24 years, when they saw the man's name on my resume, they said, when do you want to start? Somebody, favor we open for you. I can't hear you. Look at somebody, tell them, favor. I can't hear you. Somebody shout, favor. As you shout, amen, the doors of favor we open. The doors of blessing we open. The doors of miracle we open. If you believe it, wave your hand and shout three loud, amen. One more time. One more time. Yes. Thank you, Lord. When God. favor don't already open for you oh I don't like your amen you know not they give me pinning amen hallelujah can you hear me somebody shout hallelujah that was how my story as a beggar as any load as laborer change. Somebody saying, pastor, just like that. Anytime the Holy Spirit is at work, it works just no, 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 no. When I know the talk and wear, help me demonstrate you to your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, just oh, oh, I wish you can say it with some, with some Holy Ghost attitude. Tell them just like that, just like Woo! I can't hear you. Shout it again so that they don't tell them just like that, just like that, just as you wave your two hands and shout amen, the light of God will shine upon you just like that. Remember, Job 22 says, you shall decree a thing and it shall be established. And the next thing was, and the light of God shall shine upon you. Some of you, you should be tired of remaining on the same spot. If I give you 15 seconds, can you make some decrees? Stand on your feet and declare in the name of Jesus. I am not going to end this year the same way. I will end this year at a greater level. 
I will come back here next year at a greater level in the mighty name of Jesus if you believe it let me hear your amen like thunder clap your hands and give God praise you can take your seat I have 10 more minutes on this stage when the spirit of God is at work it breaks yokes it shatters burdens somebody shout it breaks yokes I can't hear you. Somebody shout, it breaks yokes. Shout it loud with power. Somebody say, it breaks yokes. If there's anything the anointing is specialist in, if there's anything the Holy Ghost is specialist in, beaver, is that yokes are broken. It invokes a spiritual chain and mandates a new divine order. The anointing is the body removing yoke destroying power of God that operates in the life of a man that pulls him out of stagnation and difficult situations. Isaiah chapter 10 and verse 27 and it shall come to pass in that day that the burden, his burden shall be taken away from thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck and the yoke shall be broken because of the anointing lift your right hand up wherever you are as I declare the word of God anyone that looks like your own collect it I command every sickness in your body as you shout amen I command that sickness to lose its grip and hold come on I command that migraine lose its grip and hold alopecia lose its grip and hold Headaches lose its grip and hold. Eye problem lose your grip and hold. Nose problem lose your grip and hold. Even jaw and teeth problem lose your grip and hold. If you believe it, let me hear your amen like fire. Thyroid problem, you are healed. Muscle problem, you are healed. Shoulder problem, you are healed. Stretch that hand out. I said that hand is healed. I can't hear you. I said that hand is healed. That back problem is healed. That back pain is gone. Bend that back. There is healing now. Come on, all over this auditorium. I said, bend that back. Stretch that hand. Move that leg. Healing all over your body. Your heart is healed. Your lungs are healed. Your leg is healed. Your waist is healed. Your groin is healed. Your ovaries are healed. Every part of your body is healed. Somebody shout, I am healed. I am healed. Move that body. Move that leg. Move that hand. Shed that area of your body. The yoke is broken. The yoke is broken. The body is lifted. You are healed from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. If you receive it, let me hear three loud amen in the pew. One more time. One more time. If you believe you are healed, jump on your feet and shout, I am healed. I am healed. John chapter 5 chapter five. I the pool of there was a man that lay there with many important folk bedridden people that have been stagnating for years Bethesda is one word in scripture that has double meaning Bethesda means house of grace. Bethesda also means house of disgrace. It's almost like an oxymoron when you expect to see grace, but you are the evidence of disgrace. So what the Spirit of God does is that it removes the this from disgrace. And let your life flourish in grace. Somebody, I don't know who you are. People mock. May God remove this grace from your life. The Bible says Jesus took notice that this man had been there 
for a long time. Somebody shout a long time. And that man, if he's been there for 38 years, and Jesus was right about the time he was going to Jerusalem, that means that man had been there five years before Jesus was born. Five years. He's been there. Been there. Of course, you know the story. I'm not here to tell you the story. Jesus came to him and said, do you want to get well? That's the question God said I should ask you. Do you want to shine brighter and brighter? No, no. The answer, no, let you be answer. I said, do you want to shine brighter and brighter? If I were you, I would shout, yeah! The man said, I have no man. That each time I'm coming to enter the water, somebody gets ahead of me. You know. Whoever has been blocking your opportunities at the altar, whoever has been stopping your breakthrough, whoever, each time you want to be promoted, they block you. From today, as you shout a big amen, the Holy Ghost will pull them away from your life. The Holy Ghost will pull them away from your destiny. The Holy Ghost will pull them away from your ministry. If you believe it, let me hear your amen like thunder. Jesus came to him just like that. First of all, how did Jesus know that he has been there? It's the Spirit of God that led him there. Jesus did not go. Go read. He didn't go to every other person there. He was the only man that Jesus talked to. Somebody you're wondering, I'm sitting in row number 20 on the left hand side. Jesus knows where you are sitting in this auditorium. As you shout amen, Jesus will locate you there. Jesus told the man, Jesus told the man, pick up your mat and get out of here. Somebody, I came with good news. That place where situation kept you. I came here by the word of God to announce to you, you are coming out of that situation. You are coming out of that condition. You are coming out of that diagnosis. In the name of Jesus, I command you to rise. I command you to rise. I command you to rise. Somebody shout, I arise, I arise, I arise, I arise. If you believe it, let me hear your amen like thunder. The same man that had been there for 38 years picked up his mat. Picked up his mat by himself without anybody helping him. He was the latest miracle there. God said, I should announce to you, you are living here with the latest miracle. Look for three people, tell them, I am living here with the latest miracle. I can't hear you tell them, I'm living here with the latest miracle. Shout it so that your neighbor can hear. Tell them, I'm living here with the latest miracle. And they told him, who told you to pick up your mat? Who told you? He said, the man that healed me was the one that told me, I don't care whether it is Sabbath day. Some of you, your miracle will happen on public holiday. In the middle of the night, your miracle will locate you. God will break protocol so that you can get your answer to prayer. If you believe it, let me hear your amen louder than your neighbor. If you believe it, shout brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter. I'm almost done. Picked up his mouth. And the man was, look, look at you now. You are here told him stop sinning except if not something worse will happen before I speak God's blessings over you and our father blesses us you are here you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior and sin is holding you back and you want to say man of God please pray for me I want to give my life to Jesus. I don't want to remain the same. You, if you surrender your life to Jesus, next year, Babic, you are not going to come back the same way. I'm going to count ten. If you hear the voice of God, you feel a tug in your spirit, and you want to make Jesus the Lord of your life, 
as you hear the count, I want you to make your way to the altar. Don't listen to anybody. Just come to the altar. We need to pray for you so that you can surrender your life to Jesus. Anybody here, you say, Pastor, please pray for me. I want to give my life to Jesus. Young man, young woman, young girl, young boy. Clap for them. One. Keep playing. Come on. Two. Let's keep clapping for them. They're coming. They're coming. Coming. Keep clapping. Keep clapping. Number two. You hear his voice. Wherever you are, all over this auditorium. Keep clapping. Three. Don't let me count till 10 without you making a decision for Jesus. Keep clapping. Come on, everybody. Let's keep clapping for them. Let's encourage them. Come on. Keep clapping. 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 Four. Keep clapping. Come on. Bobby, we can clap. Clap. They are giving their life to Jesus. Five. Keep clapping for them. Keep clapping. You want to surrender your life to Jesus. You are tired of being in stagnation. You are tired of disgrace. Keep clapping. Six. Keep clapping. Keep clapping. Seven. You want to give your life to Jesus. Young man. Young woman. Old papa. Mama, you have heard the voice of God. Seven. Everybody let us clap our hands for them as they make their way. Eight. Keep clapping. Keep clapping. Nine. There are some adults there under the sound of my voice. If you hear his voice, had it not your heart. Give God prayer. Lift your hands, everybody. Oh, I surrender. Surrender. Oh. Lift your hands. Everything I give to and you. Everything I give to you. In hope. your hands please can we stretch our hands to how many of you believe that these are souls for Jesus Christ come on come on are we all the souls for Jesus everybody clap your hands above your head and celebrate the Lord for this soul I gave my life to Christ as a six years old I got filled with the Holy Ghost at the age of 13. And my life has changed forever. Lift your hands, every one of you here. Repeat after me. Can we pray for them? Everybody say, Lord Jesus, I come before you. I surrender my life to you. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. Forgive me of my sins. Write my name in the book of life from today I make a decision to serve the Lord in Jesus name we have prayed and God's people shout a big amen now clap your hands all of you go this way all of you go this way all of you all of you go this way keep clapping for them keep clapping for them keep clapping for them lift your hands up My time is up. Sorry. I just want to pray a simple prayer for anybody that is saying, Pastor, I need a breakthrough. And you are in this auditorium. And you say, Pastor, please, can you agree with me? I don't want you to come out. I just want you to shoot your two hands above your head. I stand here by the authority of God's word under the graces of the almighty God and my father and my mother. Hear me. I've seen miracles by the grace of God.
but there's one that God said I should tell you. Two years ago, one of our deacons was diagnosed with cancer that metastasized to everywhere. And they called me. I went to the hospital that night, 11.30. And when I entered there, God said I should laugh and tell him that cancer will go the way it came. <laughs> so I came there with my laptop, position, I was laughing. I said, oh boy, nothing will happen to you. You will live and you will not die. But thus said the Lord, the way the cancer came, that is the way the cancer will go. <laughs> Mind you, I'm a doctor, so I understand. I read the scan. I read the MRI. So each time the doctors came and talked to him, he would tell them, my pastor said, I will not die. This diagnosis is not my own. So look at how they look at him like you are a fool. We are telling you, you are telling us to doctor. I told him, I said, they are doctors. Me, I'm doctor. Doctor, cancel doctor. So that the word of God will prevail. Let all men be liars. Let God be the truth. Long story short, I stand here today to declare to this house, this young man is completely cancer free. Oh, that's all that they celebrate miracle for this place. I have seen many in our church. Many cancer. I told them whatever you see in the x-ray, God can take it out. Lift your hands up upon this house. Lord, every man, every woman, every boy, every girl, if you are sick, place your hand where you are sick. Whatever your problem is, mention it before the Lord. Fire! Behold your people. Every man, every woman, every boy, every girl under the sound of my voice. Lord, only your word can heal the sick and deliver people from their problem. You sent forth your word. You healed them and delivered them from destruction. As your people shout amen, may the Holy Ghost enter the problem and remove it forever for now. In the name of Jesus, I command that sickness. Lose your grip and hold down in the name of Jesus. That problem, I command you, be moved and cast out into the sea in the name of Jesus.